Hey everyone, this is Seth from the Seth and Beth. Well, I'm not from the podcast. I am. We're on the podcast. Right. This is That's the Seth, Seth and Beth and podcast. Beth. This is Jason Vincent from Northwest Ar- Arkansas. Northwest. You always say Northwest Arkansas. Um, he has a unique talent. He's not a photographer. The only reason he's on. See, I have this mic drop. Um, when I make a really bad joke, and no one laughs, but in reality, we have a live mic drop. Go ahead, Jason. Give it to me. That's so good. <laughs> Let me try our, it. I want to try it. Go ahead, Beth. How you do gotta, you make the you, high pitch? You got to whistle while you do it. Well, if you haven't turned off yet, there's <laughs> there's more to the show than meets the eye. Jason is the most badass photographer I've ever seen in the history of the world. Is so that, good. Is that an exaggeration, Beth? Oh my gosh, he's so good. He does shit like I'm even a photographer, and he produces images. I'm like, how the fuck you do that? Yes. So we want to have you on. Because you're better um, than us. Yes. That right. way when they search you on the internet, they'll find us and be like, wow, we shouldn't hire them. We should hire you <laughs> in Northwest Arkansas. Um, but no, you're amazing. We've been pals just over a couple of years now, a year and a half. Um, but secretly, Beth and I were stalking you for a, such a long time. Right. 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 Um, tell us a little bit about oh. you. What, what, Bethy? I don't know. I just, I've never been to Arkansas. Like in like 15 seconds, what is Arkansas like? What does it look like? Mm. What's the humidity like? Was, what is it like? Did you well, snow? We get all the seasons. We don't get much snow. We'll get like a dusting every once in a while. We get a lot of ice. Um, it's very big in mountain biking. Oh. So it's supposedly like getting there's ready mountains. to- There's um, mountains. It's part of the Ozarks. I don't know if I would call them mountains, but there's like big giant hills. Like it's not like Colorado, Rockies, mm. mountains, but- good elevation and stuff, but Northwest Arkansas has been putting a lot of work into the mountain bike community. So they get like a hundred miles or don't quote me on that hundred miles of mountain bike trail, like every year added just in the Northwest wow. Arkansas. People area. will travel with mountain bikes, just go on vacation there. Yeah. Wow. Like it's in magazines and all kinds of stuff, but wow. it's home to Walmart, Tyson foods, JB hunt. Um, so it's very big as far as like businesses. And Tell us about yeah. your photography career. How'd you get going? How long have you been doing it? What's the story? Give us some, give us the information. Um, 10 years coming up on 10 years. I didn't or know actually just, long. just past 10 years of shooting, um, full time for three. Um, and it just kind of started as a side business thing. Me and Chasney got a nice camera whenever we got married, um, took it on our honeymoon and then posted images from honeymoon. And one of her friends was like, Oh, those are pretty. Will you take our our pictures. Oh my gosh. So we met like in a target parking lot at this like cool little wall and we had one camera and a kit lens. So like I would take some pictures and then give it to Chasney and then Chasney would take some pictures and we just <laughs> hand the camera back and forth. And I love, so, I remember those kit lenses. It's like the 18 to 55, yeah. three and a half to 5.6. Yep. <laughs> love those. Yeah. So we did that for a while and then finally someone was brave enough to ask us to shoot their wedding. And so we shot a wedding and loved it and have just been kind of going down that spiral ever since wow yeah does she still shoot yeah 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 we always shoot together yep. oh just like us yep. uh. now you're expecting your second child so assume she'll miss a couple weddings yeah so we have a couple on the books um that she's gonna have to miss and so we just have some second photographers i'm available by the way okay. um <laughs> also how many weddings have you photographed in I your heyday i don't keep track of any of that I really have no idea yeah you know um i thought once we're at around 200 but james day said he was at 700 in the last podcast, and we were floored by that number. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm definitely not in the 700. Well, I bet Ken Pack <laughs> is probably up there, too, because well, yeah, he Ken does Pack. Do you know Ken Pack in yes. D.C.? Yeah, I mean, of course, and he's done, he don't, he'll do like 90 a year, Beth, so yeah, he's probably out you know, running circles. He could circles be like 1,000. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I would say your claim to fame is just, as far as I know, is just this incredible imagery that's very colorful and deep and outside of the normal box of thinking to the point where like I see your photos and I'm like why are mine so not as cool um so what is your background like how do how the how the hell do you do this that's that's my question Beth (laughs) (laughs) I don't know um I'm very inspired by like the fearless community and so that and like so I guess it kind of all started probably like Ben and Aaron Chrisman, um, Two Man Studios, and people like that. And so, but I have this thing where if I'm inspired by an image, I have, and I have a post about this somewhere else, but it's basically try and reproduce that image yeah. to learn how to do it. And you do that at the beginning of your career and you try and reproduce images. And then eventually you need to start putting your own twist on it. And so it's like, how can I produce this image that I'm drawn to and 
put either my twist on it or like um or I don't know how to say his last name, but he's really good in like minimalism and stuff like that. And so how can I incorporate minimalism into like a two-man studio style? And so like combining the artwork of two or three other photographers and trying to make it your own. Mm. Did you take a two-man workshop? Um, Like two months ago. Mm. You just took it? Yeah. Oh, I'm shocked. Where'd you go? Dallas. Oh, yeah. Dallas. Um, I'm shocked because I wouldn't think, I think, I wouldn't think you would need that now because your stuff's so dope. But, um... You can, Actually, you can learn from anybody. I went yeah. later in my career, too. And the one thing we learned uh, about how to shoot, I mean, when they sat us down and said they'd take 10,000 photos, I was like, that's not possible. And then now for us, we've just moved that 10,000 photos a wedding is very standard. Yeah. And I'm like, how did we ever take only 2,700 photos in a wedding? I, I, I'm, I'm like, gosh, there were so many moments that we must have been missing or not capturing properly. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, your style is very much like theirs. Um, I'm not surprised you love the fearless community. We do too. I think the inspiration just pushes us to do fun things, Mm -hmm. um, fun, maybe challenging things. Um, What do you love about the fearless community? Yeah, just that, like just drawing inspiration from it and seeing how people can put a twist on something. You're like, I have literally never thought of that. Mm -hmm. And then might not even be, you might not actually go into the next wedding to reproduce something like that, but having that like in the back of your head will make you view something differently than you normally would have. You know, you took the words uh, almost out of my mouth about how we started. You know, I fell in love with some photographers. I had to know how they did that amazing photo to the point where I was like, I just need to copy it. And then I found out even when I tried to copy it, it was different. Mm -hmm. And so it still had a, a version. It was a version of us when I was trying to copy someone else and actually, we got critiqued by some people who were like, why would you want to be somebody else? And I was like, because they're freaking awesome. And I want to be <laughs> awesome, too. And uh, so it pushed us to do crazy things. So um, I'm sure like us on wedding days, you get a lot dirtier than other photographers climbing around up and down underneath. Um, but there's also a certain what about the connection with people you have to make to try some of these challenging photos? How do you build that trust with your clients to ask them to do all this awesome stuff at this point it's kind of just built in because they they're seeing the work and so they kind of understand what they're in for um and then also like the engagement shoot helps with that so that when it comes to the wedding time they're they're more open to it and it's a lot easier to convince people to do crazy things on an engagement and so yeah um what 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 now you you partner with some companies uh, we had ken ken Liu and jeff newsom develop on Talk about your partnership with them. What do you do for them and why it's so rad? Um, no, I just love the presets that they have and was using them and talked to Ken and Jeff and they asked me to run their Facebook group. And so I'm, I forget what my actual title is, like community manager or something like that. But oh. I basically just run the Facebook group, try and keep people active and give them people a reason to hang out there and make it a cool place to be. So you like are the one in charge of like the challenges and stuff like mm-hmm. that? Yeah, so I come up with all the challenges and... Um, there were like polls up every once in a while and I started doing like the edit challenges. We haven't done one in a little while, but came up with that idea and just I like that idea. Making it, making it a fun place to hang out. What have been some of the challenges that you liked the most or thought were the most successful? Um I don't know. The edit challenges are fun because uh it's just basically we just publish a raw file and yeah. say edit it however you want and then post the results to the comments. And it's crazy to see the exact same image edited. 10, 15, 20, 30 different ways, yeah. all using developed presets. And it just kind of goes to show the versatility in that system. Um, people look at presets and think of like, oh, you apply it and everyone's going to get the same thing, but that's not really the way that it's built. And so you can still get a lot of ver- variety out of it. Who are the, uh, what presets do you use from develop? Like who are two, your favorite people? Two man. Two man? Yeah. I use theirs a lot. Um, Daniel and Davina, their pack is awesome as well. Uh, Victor Lax pack is really good but most of everything is two men uh what's the black and white that i think jeff es- said that he uses espresso or um uh no no that's the one that you and i use from two man but he uses a specific black and white that he integrated into his workflow from i don't know who. i know i'm gonna now i'm gonna have to look it up again yeah but or no- listen to the podcast but yeah, 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 Beth, tune into the podcast. I'm going to have to tune into my own like podcast. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> he said that there's a specific black and white that it's like the 
what he feels like for his style of photography. It's the best black and white. It's his go-to. He said he likes the preset better than his own black and white. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how's it been working with your wife through all of this? Yeah, because you're similar to us, where you have yeah. to work with your spouse and mm-hmm. live with your spouse and have kids with your spouse, and it's it's, it's a good. lot. Yeah, it has its built-in difficulties, but it has its ups as well. Uh, so like. Tell me, like, uh, I know for Seth and I, we have specific roles oh, yeah. Yeah. on a wedding day. Like, what is that like for you guys? Um, we're pretty good, like, just taking turns. And so we use each other, like, so I'll, I'll have an idea for an image, and so I'll take that. And then while I'm shooting that, she's usually trying to find something for her, her to shoot later. Mm. And then when she's shooting, I'm off trying to find something else. So we're always constantly shooting, but that gives, we give each other time to take a step back, let them handle it, and then kind of look around and find something else to do i would say that's different from seth and i then like uh seth seth will do all the tight shots i do all the wide shots so we'll set up set up the scene and then we both photograph the same scene and we'll we'll do that sometimes too but a lot of the times we're like just piggybacking off of each other yeah for us beth i think it's I'm basically directing our clients to do cool stuff and taking their pictures. I don't actually know where you are or what you're doing. I mean, sometimes I'll say, hey, I think the photo is here. But the cool part is I'll get home. I'm sure you have this too is I'll get home, go through forward mechanic, look at all the photos and find all these bomb ass wide angle photos that Beth does like through the weeds, through trees that I don't even know where you're at. So like, where was I? Why was I shooting over here? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, she gets all the bomb ass photos. Um, or I'll get like a lot of the moments, right? You know, like uh, maybe while he has the bride and groom, like I'm somewhere completely different getting like, you know, maybe the family or the bridal party or just the like, little flower girl making a fool of herself. Exactly. Yeah. And Seth will come, he'll be like, you know, calling all of my images. Like, I don't even know that went on. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Talk about what you're doing for SLR, SLR Lounge. Uh, so basically the same thing that I do for the developed community, just kind of um, make it a cool place to hang out, give people a reason to be in there, post pic- post pictures and stuff like that. What is, so we're having Pi on, mm-hmm. um, but I don't even know, like, what is the whole organization of SLR, SL, what do I, why can't I say it, Beth? It's okay. SLR Lounge. I'll just say DSLR Lounge. It's not though. Um, <laughs> what is, what is that organization? What do they, what do they do if people are listening want to go to it? Um, so they have uh, just like an online blog uh, where they post like articles and original content and reviews and stuff. And then they also have an amazing um, online um, training system, like tutorials and stuff like that. Um, they have an entire thing for all around like wedding photography. So it's all about um, how to shoot the bride, how to shoot the groom, doing couples portraits, reception photos and stuff. And then they have um, another class about business photography like the business of photography and talking all about getting your finances in order and doing seo and all that fun stuff i heard that seo portion and we were just talking to a photographer yesterday and he said that that it it that one it must have been a video or video series but whatever it was has changed his business he said that like all i did was i did whatever they told me to do and that's what i applied to my business and it has done everything they said it was supposed to. And I was even listening to him like, I'm going to have to go watch that for myself <laughs> and make sure I'm following all the right tips and tricks. Because we, like, recently, maybe three years ago now, our SEO, we were number one on Google. We were even, like, higher than the not. and For, for our region. Yeah. For, yeah, for our area. And um, we switched over our website, and we went from, like, number one to, like, 1,000. 20 pages down Oh, or it was something. so bad. Oh. And we have been trying to overcome that ever since. And now I'm, I'm just always doing everything that I can to get our SEO back up. And so that's why, like, I was like, I got to check. I got to check that out. So what do uh, you and Chasney bring to your couples besides badass imagery? What do you guys love? What kind of experience are they going to get with the two of you? Just friendship. Yeah, we just want to, we like to, almost every single one of our couples, like, even after the wedding, like, we were, were more than happy to just go like hang out and have drinks and stuff so it's not we don't want it to be like a client vendor relationship we want to actually like be friends and so that's why it's really important for us to talk with couples before see like how we click how we vibe um because yeah we, we don't want to just be like some random vendor that shows up yeah same same z's and what's it like being a new dad <laughs> amazing and terrifying and exciting 
How old is your baby now? Um, he just turned two in November. Okay, so what is he doing right now in his life? Um, being super, super smart. Yeah. Yeah. Like he can already count to 50 on his own. Oh my gosh. Knows all, like knows the alphabet, knows all of his colors, shapes. I'm like, I don't know where, where you got the smarts from because it wasn't for me. <laughs> mm. So was he an IVF baby as well? Yes. Man. What does what, so, that mean? Like, IVF, um, in vitro fertilization. Ah, that's right. That's what I thought, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's so many different types, right, where they, you know, there's so many different, like, awesome ways. So, I forget which one that is. you guys had a, a tough time getting pregnant in the beginning? Yeah. Um, I think, in total, Chasney's had six or seven miscarriages. Oh, um, two of those were ectopic pregnancies, and so she lost her fallopian tube in one of them, and then the other one in the other. Oh, so Yeah, so the only gosh. way that um, she can get pregnant now is through IVF. Oh, man, this has been a huge yeah. struggle then, huh? Yeah. Was that really was like painful a, like for a, her, too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably mentally and yeah, yeah, mentally, physically, emotionally, all of all of them, all of them. Yeah, wow. So now you have your little miracle babies. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah. You know, um, I love our kids as well, but when you're like in a situation like that, and they're just you see them, I know it's like it. It just means so much to everything they do. Like you're just like it's a miracle every day. It's just so precious with them. Mm-hmm. And they're yeah. gonna have a daughter. Oh, you're having a daughter? Yeah, which is even more terrifying. Yeah, we have two boys. I don't want anything to do with uh, (laughs) trying to raise a daughter. Um, That would be wonderful. So what, um, like, tell me this. You've had some fearless awards? Yeah. Tell me about the photos. Which ones would come to mind? Um, One of the most popular ones is a red wall with a tree shadow on it and a bride standing in front of it. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember it now. It's on your website, right? Yeah. The way I described it makes it sound like super mediocre, but I like it. <laughs> did you see, like, how did you even, like, take that photo? What was going through your mind to even capture that? I just saw the, the shadow of a tree on a wall, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. Like, come stand over here. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wave your dress around. We need some movement in here. And that's literally all it is. So you've been trying to help me with my Sony cameras. When, what we, when did you shoot over? When did you switch over to Sony? Um... I guess it would be last WPPI, right okay. around. Uh, yeah, so it's been maybe two years. Actually. You shoot on the A seven. I can't keep the number straight. Um, I, I'm a A nine. Oh, A nine. Yeah. When I, I first switched over, it was the A seven three. Uh huh. Um, I got the A seven three to review for Shotkit.com, um, and I just never sent it back because uh-huh. I loved. It. I was like, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping here's, it. Here's my credit card information. I'm not sending it back. <laughs> so um, I have still struggled with using Sony, especially since we still love our Nikon cameras. But I'm guessing now I think about it, Beth, that if you totally switch, did you mix them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for a long time, um, so we shot Nikon and then I had this like brief love affair with Fuji. So I did Fuji for a couple of years. And at that time, Chasney hated it. So she still shot Nikon. Yeah. And then after um, Sony, I moved from Fuji to Sony. And at that point, Chasney was like, oh, okay, these are cool. And so she switched to Sony. Yeah, so we have been, we, for a while there, we were mixing Sony and Nikon, and it was just too frustrating. The the output files were just so different. Mm-hmm. Which I never ran into because I was using develop presets, and so their custom camera profile matches the colors between cameras and different manufacturers and stuff like that. Oh, so is that I, it? Yeah, and so I never saw, like, moving from Nikon and even editing Nikon and Fuji files and Fuji files and Sony files and all that stuff. Like I never saw like a hiccup in the way I had it. It all, it's always just looked the same. Mm. Yeah. So I constantly think of you when I'm trying to get the A9 to work for me. I know they've come out with a second version, <clears throat> but I recently told Beth, like we don't actually even use it anymore. Like we're going back to our roots. What got us going? The old hard hammer. Trusty Nikon. <laughs> Trusty Nikon where I can, I can find Beth in, uh, in a three hundred person church, just listen for that hammer dropping <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> during the during the uh, during the, the the solemn vows, just bam, 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 Beth banging away. But yeah, I do love the uh, the silent version. I know it's coming to more cameras. So, damn, I just want to ask you something. I totally freaking forgot because you're not you're involved in so many things. Ah, your Patreon. Tell us about like starting that because I'm sort of I kind of like the, the the platform, and I know you just started, but tell some people what you're into. Yeah, so it's just um a way for me to share content and it be 
more lucrative for me. So it's, it's hard to put so much time into things and then just like Facebook throw it out for and, free and stuff, yeah. which I, which I'm still going to do. Cause that's just part of the community and, um, part of what I love to do, but being able to justify spending a lot more time creating content and making it worth my time. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the process of like getting one going and getting fans? Um, all where I do did, you, where do you plug it? <clears throat> Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Basically, I just started it through a video and, um, a couple articles up and said, Hey, this is now live. Do you want to go hang out? And people will sign up. So what know. kind of, what yeah. kind of, give me some examples of things you're bringing to the table and how often you're doing it. Um, so I'm doing at least one, um, like written piece of content per month and then one sort of like either video walkthrough as far as editing or like image deconstruction and stuff like that. And so right now I have three, three or four posts. One of them is just like a full walkthrough. Um, I shot Lanny and Erica of two man studios at creative summit. They're my models for a walk, photo walk that I did. Mm. And so I just did a full walkthrough of like how I shot each image and then did a live walkthrough of the edit from start to finish. I saw those photos. They were great. It's weird to see them in photos. Yeah, it was fun. I have to show them to you. I, I can't wait to see you. I made, I mean, them, made them wake up at seven in the morning and yeah. Um, so would you, obviously I'm sure you would uh, advise people go to their workshop. Are they winding those down or still? They're done. They They're just, done. They, um, right after the creative summit that we were at, they did two uh, back to back in Florida and they're not teaching anymore. I wonder why. Workshops. Do you know why? I do. Is it bad to talk about? I just don't want to talk about it because I don't want to misspeak. I, 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 I just, I know a little bit about what they're, what they're planning. And so I'll oh. ask them. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, I'm sure, and I'm sure they'll tell you. I would assume they're pretty worn down because they've done like hundreds of them in every continent, but Af uh, at Arctic, Antarctica. What am I saying? Antarctica. Yeah. They've done every continent, right? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I mean they, they did where they were just like on the road nonstop for like nonstop, a year. Nonstop. They pulled the kids out of school. Um, the adventures looked incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, this is amazing. So, what are your ways to get clients? How do you guys get more weddings? What's your, what's the best ways for you guys to market yourselves and get weddings down there? And, uh, venues. Just the venues. <clears throat> yeah. Working with venues. We just, um, as part of trying to get our SEO up, we just launched a top 20 wedding venues in Northwest Arkansas. Oh, and so nice. we, I built it and most people have like, these are our favorite wedding venues and they list like five or six or whatever. Yeah. We did 20 and we built it out like an awards system thing. So every, all these venues got like a badge and they're now like a top 20 wedding venue by Vincent Images or whatever. And then so I have like an overall page where you can see all 20. And it's just like a brief paragraph about, about the venue. It tells pricing uh, for the venue, occupancy and all kinds of little details. And if you click into the venue, then it's a full like a thousand word um, page for each venue. Nice. And so we have 20 pages built Genius out for each idea. venue. and. Yeah, you know, um, there was a Grant Card Cardone ten X conference here in Vegas as we were arriving. It was getting over with, and Beth in his book, Grant Cardone's book, the ten X, he talks about how I'm pretty sure it's his book. Like, if you want to like wow or get new clientele, is like have an award show. So you you <laughs> like make a whole make it a whole night and have an award show where the whatever group you're involved with gives away awards and it gives them a reason to like be celebrated when in reality you're just kind of coming up with it, right. You're just kind of coming up with the awards. Yeah. 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 And, um, man, I, I, I try to think we could take this back to our, our region back where we're from in Akron, Ohio. And cause I think, um, uh, I'd love to get in touch with a lot of those venues around there. We definitely need to. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, it was just an easy way to reach out and just be like, Hey, this is what I'm working on. I sent them a little questionnaire. It was like, and that, I mean, that's how I got all like the pricing info. I sent it to them and that starts the conversation of like, oh, this is what I'm doing. I need this information. And then when it's live, you're just continuing that conversation. And um, Beth, we got to do this. It's a really great idea. Because you're really good at connecting with like venues and you're basically just highlighting them. Yeah. Was it a problem if you haven't shot there before? Um, there are a handful that I haven't shot before. And so the images that I use are just like type portraits or like, silhouettes or things like that you can't actually really know where the venue is like yeah it could have easily be shot there but and i'm not trying to like make it look like i have shot there but i just don't want it to be blank all text yeah <laughs> yeah right. sure um man that's interesting Great idea. My mind. well we share uh, a ton of groups uh you know we're in a bunch of groups together so our network is um 
it's pretty vast between the two of us. So we have a couple gatherings tonight that we'll be at Beth with Jason. And um, I can't wait till you. Uh, I'm going to eat Jason's dessert. You can have it. Thanks. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck with this new baby. How can people find you and your awesome work? Um, How can they not find you? I'm going to open up, open up any <laughs> website. You're there. No, just no, t- no. tell us. Um, Instagram. It's uh, at Vincent Images, V-I-N-S-O-N, images underscore Jason. Um, and then the at Vincent Images, that's my wife. Oh, oh nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how nice. And of course, go to the Develop Community on Facebook. Yep. The SLL or SLR Lounge. I'm just going to mess that up every time, yeah, Beth. It's uh, the Master Wedding Photography and Portraits group that I manage. And there's like four other groups that you should also join because they're all great. Yeah. Like what are the other What are the other ones? Um, there's one for lighting. Um, Trevor Daly runs that one. Oh. There's one for business. Uh, Jared Gant runs that one. Oh. And then there's a Lightroom and editing one that Pi runs. Nice. Yeah. You've got your hands in everything. It's good stuff. Dabbling. Dabbling. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks Please like and subscribe. Share this. I hope your fans get to watch this. And um, yeah, thanks for joining us on the podcast. As always, we're Seth and Beth, sethandbeth.com. And follow us on YouTube, y'alls. Boop, boop. Y'alls. That's how you say that, right? I don't know. I'm not from Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Oh. <laughs> Great. Awesome.